Previously, you saw us riding the e-trans Neo Plus, one of Pure EV's most practical, easy to use EV scooters. But what if you want something that's a little bit more utilitarian and something that can do a lot of tasks with a lot of ease? Well, this is Pure EV's EcoDrift 350, one of the most practical ways to get around town. It has loads of range and I'm going to do a range test with it again today. And let's go to some amazing places and let's see what sort of performance the EcoDrift 350 can do. Let's check it out. Now before we embark on our journey, let me quickly talk about the powertrain of the EcoDrift 350. Now the EcoDrift can be bought in two different variants. You have the normal EcoDrift and you have the EcoDrift 350, which is this particular bike over here. The EcoDrift gets a 3 kilowatt hour battery, whereas the EcoDrift 350 gets the bigger 3.5 kilowatt hour battery. This thing is capable of doing 180 kilometers on a single charge. And as you can see, the battery is right over here. It's a pretty big battery and the motor is capable of making a peak power of 3 kilowatts, which is pretty sufficient and the bike tops out at anywhere between 75 to 80 kilometers an hour and it has a host of different features. I'll talk about those while I'm on the journey. So let's quickly gear up and head on to our next destination. So we have reached the spot where we're going to have lunch and we've ridden the bike roughly 11 kilometers, not a single uh, bar of range has dropped and yeah, it was a very straightforward ride. The bike is very nimble, can zip through tight spaces very easily and I managed to uh, dodge a lot of traffic with a lot of ease. So now I've parked up the bike. Uh, I don't think it needs a charge, although there is a charging station right over here. But uh, I'm going to park the bike over here because it's a range test. I'm not going to charge it. I'll go up, have lunch and we'll head on to the next destination. So before we get back onto the road, let me quickly talk about the instrument cluster that is there in the EcoDrift 350. Now this instrument cluster is slightly different to the E-Pluto and the E-Trans that we rode. And as you can see, it's a much bigger instrument cluster and it has a couple of more features that the E-Pluto and the E-Trans don't get. So on the right hand side, you can see that there's this bar over here. That bar is basically showing your regenerative braking. And on the left hand side, you have another bar which shows you your acceleration and how much power you're using. If the bars are full, that means you're using no power. And if there are no bars, that means you're using full power. And it's the exact opposite for the regen braking. Uh, the more you brake, the bar increases in its size. And yeah, very helpful little features. Of course, you have your uh, battery meter over here, your speedometer in the middle, and you of course have three different riding modes as well. One, two, and three. One, the top speed is 50 kilometers, two, it is 60, and three, you can go anywhere between 75 to 80 kilometers are in the third riding mode. Uh, one thing that is a little unnatural for me is the riding. So the riding position is fine. It's very comfortable, very normal. Uh, but the thing is both brakes are on the handles and this being a bike I tend to move my right foot uh, searching for the brake But that is something that you'll get used to over time. So let's hop onto the bike and let's head over to Lonard Caves Now coming to the features, the Pure EV EcoDrift 350 comes with quite a lot of them. It comes with all of the features that the e-Trans Neo Plus had like reverse mode, smart AI for better battery life, coasting regen, smart regenerative braking and has a highly efficient powertrain. 
power delivery of the bike is great and a 3.5 kilowatt hour battery is more than sufficient for your daily travels. But the feature that was most useful to me was the hill start assist and downhill assist as it was a quite steep hill to reach Lonard Caves. So finally we've made it to Lonard Caves and this is such a peaceful place. There's literally nobody around and yeah, I think I can spend a good afternoon over here just staying in peace. And of course, the pure EV EcoDrift 350 came here with no problems at all. It was a super smooth journey and the most surprising part is not even a single bar of battery has dropped. And we've done I think so more than 40 kilometers in total riding distance, which is very impressive. Now let me get on to the looks of the bike. Now if you can notice the front end is from a very familiar model from a different brand. And all of the other parts here and there are from other motorcycles but I think so overall it's a very utilitarian looking motorcycle. And the purpose that the EcoDrift 350 serves is not for looks or it's not for any sort of uh, showing off. It's a very to the point purpose built motorcycle. So I don't think that the people who are going to buy the EcoDrift 350 actually care about how it looks. Moreover, it's on how it performs on a day to day basis. And considering that we did over 40 kilometers without any sort of battery drop, that is actually very impressive. So I think I'll chill here for another 15 20 minutes, just soak it in, and I'll get back onto the bike and let's head back to the Pure EV service station. If you're in the market for an EV bike, you should definitely check out the Pure EV EcoDrift 350. With a range of 131 km, a top speed of 80 kph, great ride quality and a price of just 1,29,999 X showroom, I feel it is a great option for someone who is looking for a bike to travel in and around the city and complete their daily chores without having the trouble of charging over and over again. So we're back at the Pure EV service station. It's right over here on the right hand side of me. And the EcoDrift 350, well, it did this whole journey in only one bar of charge, which is very impressive. We drove a total of 50 kilometers. We went to uh, eat lunch. Uh, we went from lunch to Lonard Caves and yeah, the EcoDrift 350 was a great companion and it's definitely very good on its charge. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.